Thanks for coming by Social Studies Samurai. In this video, we're gonna show you how to tell awesome 360 degree stories using Google Tour Creator. So how does this work? Well, Google uses 360 degree images as well as Street View 360 degree images to allow you to create a tour of different parts of the world or one part of the world, adding text and information and 2D images in a series of scenes to help you get a better understanding of the story that you want to tell. You can also add audio narration, uh, background music, and it is ridiculously easy to use. Alrighty, you've got a great idea for your tour. You're gonna to tell an awesome story. Here's some things you wanna think about. First is to be fair and equitable. You wanna represent people in an honest way, but also you wanna avoid negative stereotypes about people and places in the world. Uh, it's not nice and, and it's not accurate. Think about your audience and think about your purpose. If it's for a younger audience, probably less text is better. Probably pace your narration and your audio a little more slowly. Older audience, more advanced vocabulary, more texts, and more provocative imagery. And think about your purpose. Are you trying to entertain? Are you trying to teach? Or you just want to inform people about something really interesting? Complete your research first. If you do this, when you go to build your tour, it's going to go a lot faster. Include your citations in everything. As you do your research, record where you get all your information and your images and your audio and whatnot. And then when you go to build your tour, you're academically honest. And that's what we want, right? Have your text, your images, and your audio ready, and again, with citation, because when you build your tour, again, it'll go a lot faster. And finally, be consistent. You want each scene to have a similar look and feel. That'll make it look good and not just good enough. So let's get ready and tell a really awesome story. And just a reminder, have your research done with your links and your citations ready before you build your tour. It'll be that much faster. The first thing you want to do is access Tour Creator. Just go to Google, type in Google Tour Creator VR, and it'll bring you to this. And then click Get Started. So once you see this page, for the first time it's going to be blank. You might want to look through the templates. They've got geography and science and history and culture. But for us, we're going to click New Tour because we're starting a new tour. It's going to ask you to title your tour. So this is where I go back to all my research. I'm just going to copy my title. I'm going to paste it in there. You can't change the size. I'm going to copy my text. I'm simply going to paste it in the description. And I'm going to upload the image. So click Select Image. You could drag or drop if you want. I'm going to use this one from National Geographic. I'm going to choose uh, my category and note that I mentioned National Geographic and then I'm going to click create so once you're here if you already have your own 360 degree image then you can upload it here if not stay on the Street View tab and type in the place that you're looking for now that you're into your scene you might want to set your starting view so you would click here because I don't really want all these people in it. I want fewer people. So I'm going to scroll right to here, and then I'm going to click Save. And that means people will see this first. And now I have to add all of my content. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to cut and paste all of my text, and then I'll put in my images and audio. So now my text is in. Let's add some background ambient music. I've already got it set up on my desktop, so I select an audio file after tapping the, the speaker icon. I'm going to upload it. I'm going to start it maybe a few seconds in just to give the listener a chance to get used to what they're looking at. Okay, now you want to put that credit in there somewhere because you can't put it in here. Next thing I'm going to do is add a point of interest. These are your hot spots. So I click Add Point of Interest, and if I want, I can click and I can drag it and put it somewhere else. 
I'm just going to leave it right here because that's what I want. Give it a title. So I'm going to call this About King Tut. And now I want to describe it. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to get a little bit more text. And you can only do text with 300 characters or else you're going to get cut off like I did right there. So make sure you keep it under 300 char uh, characters. Now I want to add my image so that my hotspot has a pop-up. So I've already put my image on my desktop and since it's Tutankhamun, I'm going to use maybe this one right here because we're looking at his sarcophagus. A relevant image, right? So I'm going to click Add and I've already recorded a little bit about King Tut, so I'm going to add some sight narration, which means I've got an audio file that's going to play that tells a little bit more than what you can read. It goes deeper into the story. I'm just going to leave that to begin from the beginning because I paused a little bit before. I click Add, and so now what happens is when I tap on this, there's going to be audio that you can hear. Now remember to give credit whenever you use images or somebody else's music, right? So let's say you're finished that scene. Well, maybe you want to add another scene. And that's where you go down here to the bottom left and you click Add Scene. And you go through the same process again. So we're not going to do that now. Let's say you're not finished. You don't want to publish it yet. That's okay. Just go up here to your arrow and that's going to take you back home. And now I see my new tour right here. When I'm ready to edit again, all I have to do is tap on it. And then I go back down to Tomb of Tutankhamun. And now I can edit any of this stuff. Now I'm ready to publish. I'm going to go up and click Publish. But maybe I still want to edit later. So I'm going to click Unlisted. And that way people can't look for it. So then I click Published. And then I have the option to view it. So I have the option to finish or view the tour. I want to view the tour. So when you get to here, you can scroll around and have a look at look for your hotspots. You can tap on them and then you get them. And all the other hotspots will show up here and you can tap through. Now you didn't hear the audio, did you? Well, that's because you have to go up here to the gear wheel and you have to turn it on and off. So you probably noticed that the two don't go well together. You can't adjust the audio settings. So if you use background music, then don't use narration. So let's say you want to share your tour. All you have to do is go down here, click the share button, and that's where you can put it into expeditions. You can embed it into a website or just copy the link or share on social media. If I go back to home, I get all my other tours. I just have to click on it to keep editing again. That is Google's Tour Creator VR. Thanks for watching the video. If you're a student or a teacher in subjects like history, geography, government, economics, check out some of the other videos. The mission of this channel is to help students build skills and teachers build their toolkit. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on the web at socialstudiesamurai.com. Hope to see you again.